Hey traders, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I want to talk about how to avoid false breakouts. Okay, so you know how, how it goes, right? You see a chart, right? And uh, you like the setup and you take a breakout trade over here. Okay, price goes in your direction for just a bit and then it suddenly reverses and you lose money. Okay, so this always happens and if you've been losing money, then this video is for you because in this video, I want to show you how to avoid um, doing, avoid being caught in a false breakout. Okay, I want to help you reduce your losses and help you increase your win rate when it comes to trading breakout. Okay, so previously I recorded a video about uh, trading breakouts and how it's one of the most beginner friendly ways to trade because uh, from a psychological standpoint, you see your profits immediately. You see that your position is in the green immediately. Okay, but uh, I think in today's video, I want to show you how to avoid uh, taking trades uh, which will fail. Okay, taking breakouts which will fail. Okay, so you, you, you probably know uh, this. You probably know that uh, there are a lot of fake outs in the forex market, okay, especially in the forex market because the forex market is very whippy. Okay, there's a lot of algos which likes to drive price up and down. Okay, so uh, in today's video, I want to show you how not to you know short here, right, and have your you know have price just retrace as though this level means nothing, and then after that plunge back down. Okay, I want to help you uh, avoid this loss. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you three tips on how to avoid false breakouts. Okay, so uh, ideally you apply all three. Okay, you apply all three. Uh, if you are still struggling as a trader, then you want to make sure that you apply all three. Okay, because uh, that will really increase your probability drastically. Okay, so in today's video, let's get into these three tips. Okay, the first tip is actually how do you avoid uh, how do you avoid this false breakout? You want to avoid trading counter trend breakouts, okay? So this is a very straightforward tip, but something that I see a lot of people, um, you know, they, they, a lot of new traders, they struggle, or rather they, they ignore this very important concept, okay? They always like to trade counter trend for some reasons, right? They like to pick market bottoms, you know? So please uh, do not do that, okay? Always trade, count, always trade with the trend breakouts, okay? So what do I mean by a... Uh, trend. Okay, so if you are new to trading and do not know how to identify a trend, okay, I have a free day trading guide for you. So in the free day tra trading guide, I teach you how to identify the market conditions. Okay, so uh, the link is in the description. So just check that out. Okay, but right now I'm going to give you a quick crash course on uh, how do you identify a trend. Okay, so basically in a trend, you just want to identify a swing high. Okay, you want to have a high. You have a low, you have a higher high, and you have a higher low. Okay, so the moment you have this uh, pattern being established, then you are in an uptrend. Okay, so you want to trade breakouts with the trend. Okay, so in this case, if you have an uptrend, then uh, you just want to buy the breakout somewhere here. Okay, you do not want to be trying to sell this uh, breakout, you know, even if price goes down, you do not want to sell because this is still in an uptrend, okay? You still have your high here, low here, higher high, higher low, okay? So, uh, you want to avoid this, okay? This is a very simplistic, you know, tip, but please do not uh, over, you know, overestimate this tip because it will really save you a lot of money if you just take this tip to heart, okay? So that's the first tip I have for you. The second tip I have for you, it's what I call uh, the pre-breakout structure. Okay, you want to watch for a pre-breakout structure. So what do I mean by a pre-breakout market structure? Okay, let me give you uh, the definition of it. Okay, so I have the features over here. So there are actually three features. You want to have a well-defined support and resistance level. Okay, so what do I mean by a well-defined support and resistance level? I mean that uh, there must be minimum two touches and you should be able to see it easily. Okay, that's the first feature. Okay, uh, I will go into detail in of each of these feature uh, in the next few slides, so not to worry. Okay, the next one is actually a 20 moving average. Okay, uh, in this case, you can use a simple moving average carry or a trend line carry. Okay, and the last one is a series of engulfing candles attacking the level. Okay, attacking this level. Okay, this uh, key well defined support and resistance level. Okay, so let's go into each of these features. Uh, Okay, so over here, 
we have the first feature which is your well-defined support and resistance level okay so i have prepared a chart for you over here and um, you can see over here that this is the goal okay this is goal chart and we are in h4 and you can see that uh this level uh 1495 is a very strong level is a very well defined level okay because you have one touch here you have two touch you have three touch and you have four touch okay so it meets the requirement of having a minimum of two touches okay now you might ask me why do i insist on having two touches why can't i just do it something like this right uh, one touch and then you know i buy it here okay now the rationale is very simple okay you want to have two touches because that that will mean that there are more traders trading around that level okay meaning that when you have something like this okay let me just clear this when you have something like this uh the more touches there are it will mean that there are more sellers over here okay when there are more sellers what happens is that all the sellers put their stop losses above here okay so what happens during a breakout is that when price goes up this set stop losses is actually a buy uh, stop order which actually further pushes price higher okay so when you have multiple touches what you are essentially saying is that uh, there are a lot of stop losses above the level uh, and these stop losses are actually buy stop orders okay and buy stop orders will actually further uh, fill the movement it'll further help price to move higher okay so you want to watch out for that you want to see that there's a minimum of two touches okay so that's the rationale for it so the first feature would be you want to see a well-defined support and resistance level okay so what about the second one you second one is actually the 20 moving average uh, carry or the trend line carry okay so in this case back to the goal example um, this case study that i have for you here actually uh, has both a uh, 20 moving average carry as well as the trend line carry okay so you can see that um that uh, i draw a trend line connecting this low to this low over here okay and what happens is that when i project it out uh, you can see that price was uh you know supported here again okay in fact uh if you look at the moving average uh this orange line here you could see that uh, there was a form of uh you know support being found at the same time okay so this is what i mean by a 20 moving average carry or trend line carry that means that price is being supported or resisted you know as as it bounces off the 20 moving average or trend line just before it hits the uh, resistance or support Okay, so in this case, we see that the uh, 20 move, moving average and the trend line is actually being uh, supporting the uh, price just before it breaks out over here. Okay, so now you might ask, let's say if you trade a breakout like this, uh, you know, where do you put your stop loss? Okay, with the 20 moving average, average carry or trend line carry, the good thing about this is that you can put your stop loss below the uh, previous swing point low. Okay, so in this case would be here. Okay, and in this case, if you have this 20 moving average carry or trend line carry, you can drastically reduce your stop loss. Okay, because you do not need to put your stop loss here, you can put your stop loss here. Okay, so that means from a risk reward perspective, uh, you, you are actually risking less to make more. Okay, and if you ad adopt a adaptive position sizing where uh, you actually position size, do your position sizing, uh, that would allow you to build to buy a bigger position right because your stop loss is tighter right if your stop loss is this versus this okay you can buy a bigger position because uh the the, the distance to your stop loss is tighter okay and that would increase your uh, reward right because if this is say 20 pips and this is 40 pips then uh, you can buy a uh, two times bigger position and when price goes up you actually make more money because your position size is bigger okay so that's how you set your stop loss Okay, and this is why you want to have the build up. You want to have this uh, 20 moving average carry and trend line carry. Okay, the last thing you want to have is the uh, series of engulfing patterns attacking the level. Okay, so uh, just a quick crash course on what the engulfing candle is. Okay, basically, uh, I cover this in the free day trading guide. So if you have not downloaded it, uh, just make sure you get it because it's free and uh, I do go into depth uh, in the trading guide so basically a engulfing pattern is very simple you just have a closing price that is higher than the candle body okay so in a bullish engulfing uh, the closing price of this candle is higher than the open price of the previous candle okay in a bearish engulfing okay uh, the opposite is true the closing price of the bearish engulfing pattern it's 
lower than the uh, opening price of the uh, previous candle. Okay, so that's a very uh, quick uh, you know crash course. Okay, if you need more help, just check out uh, the day trading guide. Okay, but in this example, you you can see that there were uh, one over here at the bottom, uh, one engulfing pattern here, and another one over here, and this one is not really engulfing pattern because uh, the the closing price of this uh, bullish candle didn't close above the um, the body of the previous candle. Okay, but uh, it's almost you know it's almost uh, it almost closed above. So in this case, I would say that uh, this setup is still a very good setup. Okay, so there you have it. All three features, right? Uh, just to recap about this chart, you have the um, key support and resistance level with multiple touches. You have four touches. Okay, you have the um, you have the uh, moving average over here, the orange line, okay, uh, carry, and you also have the trend line carry, okay, and you have the series of engulfing candles attacking the level before it bursts up, okay. So this is how you uh, how you avoid a false breakout. You look for these three features, okay. When you see that there are these three features happening in a breakout, you can know with certainty that you know this is a high probability setup, and then you can take that trade, okay. If you do not see any of these features, then the best is to avoid uh, the trade, avoid trading the breakout. Okay. Now, the last tip that I have for you is that you want to avoid trading breakouts uh, before a new trading session. Okay, what do I mean by a new trading session? Okay, I'm talking about the pre-euro or pre-US trading session. Okay, so uh, I do not know where you are based in. Okay, but personally, I'm based in uh, GMT plus 8. Okay, so these are my timings. For me, the London opens at uh, 3 p.m. Okay, and the New York opens at uh, about 8 p.m. Okay, so what, what this would mean for me would be that I would not want to trade, uh, you know, just before the London session and just before the New York session. Okay, because if you were to trade before the Euro session, you are not taking into account what the Euro traders uh, will do, right? The, what the European traders will do. Okay, so it's better for you to wait one hour until after, you know, the London open. Uh, in my case, it would be about 4 p.m. Okay, and uh, 9 p.m. Okay, uh, depending on where you are, it's going to be different. So what you can do is you can go to forexfactory.com, okay? Uh, you can click on the markets tab, which is on the top, right? Scroll down and you should see something like this over here, okay? And then you can see what time uh, does the London market and the New York uh, market opens, okay? So you want to avoid trading, you know, just before a new trading session, okay? About one hour, maybe two hours before you want to avoid trading into a new trading session. Okay, so this tip over here will save you a lot of money, okay, because it will help you uh, not, not trade into all these uh, false breakouts, okay, because a lot of times what happens is that uh, during the Asia session, the market breaks a uh, resistance, but in London, it sells back down and, you know, it does the fake out, okay, so if you trade after London is open, after the London has firmed up it, uh, its movement, you're going to have higher probability trades, okay? So this is very important. Just take note of uh, this tip that I have for you, okay? So that's it. These are the three tips that I have for you, okay? Just a, just a recap, okay? And then the first tip that I have for you is that you want to avoid trading counter trend uh, breakouts, okay? Always stick with, with trend breakouts, okay? Do not trade counter trends, okay? That's your highest probability setup is with trend breakouts. Okay, the second thing is you want to watch for a breakout structure. Okay, I gave you three features. The number one feature is you want to have a key support and resistance level with two touches. The second one is actually you want to have the 20 moving average carry or trendline carry. And the last feature is that you want to see a series of engulfing uh, patterns leading up to the breakout. Okay, and the last tip I have for you is that you want to avoid trading breakouts before a new trading session. Okay, so that's, these are the three tips that I have for you. Okay, uh, make sure you apply it. Okay, if you are new to this channel, please give us the thumbs up, right? If you benefited from this video, if you like this content, right, please subscribe to us because uh, we have a lot of videos like this, okay? So also make sure to check out the other videos we have. We have a lot of free videos, you know, how to trade, right, a lot, how to manage your stop loss, right? We have a ton of this. We create videos almost, you know, every single week to help you become a better trader, okay? So if you have any qu questions, you know, any specific issues that you are struggling with, just leave a comment down below and, you know, my team uh, will put together something, right, we'll create some content uh, to help you, right, to give your 
share our thoughts on uh, you know the issues that you are facing you know if you need a recommendation about what kind of training strategy will suit you just leave a comment down below and we'll be happy to help you okay if not thank thank you for watching